Hey guys, welcome to my conversation with your Georgia 4A State Duels Champions head coach, Coach Knight. Coach, not just that back to back because I'm wearing last year's shirt. That's right. How awesome is it to to win it again? You know, last year was a little nerve wracking. I'm not saying that this year wasn't as nerve wracking, but um, you guys had put together a solid squad. How does it feel to win it a second time? Man, it's it's great. Uh, so excited for the kids. Um, first and foremost, I mean that's to me that's the most fun moment is is the you know the kids waiting on the the medals and the trophy and you're excited for them and and you know you talk all season. I'm sure a lot of head coaches talk about this is their state title and we, we steer them a little bit and, um, you know, try to help where we can, but this is theirs and, and just super excited for them. It's fun to hear them singing on the bus ride home and the bus ride home is a lot of fun. And, um, no, it was great. It was exciting. Well, well, they couldn't, they couldn't break out a poster this year because, no, no you poster. know, and that actually brings me to actually a really important question. And that is, you know, last year there was some doubt and, you know, love it had a great team and, you know, you guys ended up pulling it off and beating them, but this year that motivation really had to come from other places. And, and how did you, how did you keep your core group? Cause they know they're good. How sure. did, how'd you, how'd you keep them focused in that nothing's given, man, you have to go out and earn it. So man, great question. I, uh, you know, I, blessed to be able to live in a state and be surrounded by really exceptional football culture. Um, so you study football coaches and you study these different coaches and, you know, maybe up North it's, it's hockey guys or, you know, basketball guys or whatever in Georgia, you know, football's king and, um, you know, just kind of leaning on, you know, I was looking at, you know, maybe a Nick Saban or Kirby smart and you got to be that master motivator and, and, maybe things that are outside of my character that motivate them. So, mm -hmm. um, oh, to, yeah, to that's a really good point. Yeah. Yeah. So to answer your question, uh, <laughs> it sounds really silly, but um, one of the biggest motivators was they were not upset, but they were driven by finishing second at traditionals to, like you said, a exceptional love it team who, you know, deserve to win the traditionals out wrestled us at traditionals. Um, but a lot of kids wanted to get the trophy back to central. And, and so we, uh, you know, we're motivated by that, um, did some things internally that, that helped with that and, and fed into them and, um, you know, yeah. just, just let them, let them carry, I feel like swagger is not the appropriate word, but the, the swagger of, Hey, this is your last year in this class. Like, go out and let them know, you know, that, that we ended on top of this for a group. Right. And, and um, it motivated them. And, and that was motivation's been bigger than maybe technique for us this year. Uh, oh, wow. yeah. Day to day. Yeah. Well, so, so you came in and for the, everybody who, you know, we've got, we had a lot of duels going on all over the place. You guys beat a whitewater team pretty handily. You, you beat Chester D, even though you got down in the first couple of matches, but you reel off nine in a row wins against them to take control of the duel. And then you get a familiar foe I, in the semifinals. Um, I can't imagine, actually, that there had to be much conversation. I, I bet your team is pretty motivated to go out and wrestle Love It. So not that they're not motivated to wrestle others, right? But but Love It, you know because of winning traditionals last year and everything else, I would, I would guess that semifinals was, was pretty, you know, they were, they were jazzed about it. Absolutely. They were definitely motivated. Um, I think we were really motivated to wrestle uh, the love it team, man. I mean, they're exceptionally well coached. They're well disciplined. They've got, you know, hammers up and down the lineup. I mean, we know that they've got a number of kids that are probably going to be wrestling at the next level. Um, mm -hmm. And, and our guys have aspirations like that too. And, and to be able to test yourself against guys like that, um, you know, I feel like 
we were blessed, um, and we talked to our guys about this, that we got to see that quarter semis and finals. Um, and Chesity was super tough. Whitlow had them clicking on all cylinders. And, and you know, you, you roll into the semis Saturday morning, and, I mean, you're, you're rolling out against a Lovett team that we knew they had a game plan. We knew their kids were – going to be ready to roll and uh well and they i think they came in with something to prove i mean absolutely they didn't have the weekend before that they expected to have they ended up but but they put off two they put on two really good wins in their duels to get absolutely. to you guys so yeah so one of the things i mean I, we could spend a lot of time talking about your hammers you know your game swans and your ty murray's colson hoffman's and and those kids um but, you know, one of the things that, especially in that Lovett match, one of the things that stood out to me was at least one of your other kids, and that is, and I'm going to slaughter Danny's last name. How do I say Danny's last name? <laughs> Kratulis. Kratulis. I, I apologize, Danny. Yeah. Um, my fault. But, you know, for for him to go out and give Kuski a match oh, yeah. um, showed you that, you know, the whole team was dialed in and – and, and he went out there and competed exceptionally hard. He lost in, in overtime. But um, can you talk a little bit about some of your other kids that kind of stepped up and and really performed well this past weekend? Yeah, no, uh, man, Danny. So Danny had a broke hand for like half the year. So he right. missed three or four weeks, um, you know, couldn't take him. He wasn't with us at knockout, uh, right. wasn't with us at Bradley. A um, couple of our tougher tournaments. And he did wrestle Kale really tough and um, – we're excited about that. Uh, not going to lie, Billy, we're a little nervous about the adjustments you're going to make, so don't make too many adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I Kale is uber talented, man. He, I mean, we've seen him wrestling. Colson and, and Freestyle and Greco in summer, and, um, you know, I we know how talented Kale is. And you're right, that was, I hate to say, like, a confidence booster, Jason, but, like, we knew at that match, like, hey, man, we really are wrestling well. Like, our kids are, are mm -hmm. locked in. The bench was really energized. Um, and and we, were, we were super excited about how well Danny wrestled and not, you know, the result maybe, but, but the, the product we put on the mat before the, the last overtime. Right. I think that's the telling part, right? That's yeah. the thing is you, is you watch them go out and compete and, like, sure. you know, and, and that um, – you know, if it's Ty Murray or again, if it's a couple of your other kids, that right. expectation's there. And not not to say Danny's not at that that level, but mm -hmm. but you know, duels are so important all the way through the lineup to get other individuals to do their job and continue to do the things that are necessary. For sure. Well, and we we have another one. Uh, you know, our our forty four Holden Church. Yeah. Uh, you know, made thirty eights for us this week, and we. You know, I, I don't want to say we we played games there, but, um, you know, we had kind of descended in. We talked about it like, hey, people might try to dodge Colson. This gives us some opportunities there. Um, and and Holden, man, just a huge win in overtime against Eli Reigns. Eli Reigns. Huge. Huge. Most credit in the world to Eli. Eli's super tough. We knew Holden was really scrappy. He's a gas tank kid. And, um, you know, that really was was kind of one of those confidence matches on Friday. So you kind of right. have one each day. Um, and we came out winning one. We came out losing one. I'm proud of both of them because of the product, not the result. But, yeah, both those kids in the middle, man, uh, it helps when the bridge doesn't stop, right? And uh, yeah, the momentum continues yeah, to go, yeah. right. And that that was really helpful. Um, so those kids wrestled their socks off and – Super proud of those guys because they're names, not household names. And now you're in individuals and who knows? I mean, uh, to credit Lucas, I mean, you're throwing darts and popcorn at individuals because momentum's not there, right? Right. Not, not in the same way. And, man, credit to those kids because they wrestle their butts off in duels. So. so so we move to the final against North Hall. Probably the team that was one of the teams that you kind of had to look at on the bottom side that you thought you might see. And I'm going to talk about two other kids that, I mean, Colt Mitchell yeah. and Chris Phillips, Chris Phillips being a freshman, start you off with a bang. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's almost as if, I mean, I think you guys, what, won your first six matches, five by by pin. Mm -hmm. um, and those two played a huge role in just beginning that 
emphatic statement that we are here for the title. Yeah, well, and that, man, the North Hall lineup, um, uh, Pat, Coach Patton's done a great job over there. We knew Ladwig was tough. We didn't know he was going to bump him to Colt, um, but we knew Ladwig was tough. We knew Elkins was tough, and they they had both of those guys down low, and uh, it turns out we saw him match one, match two, and credit to Colt for going out there and getting on the gas tank and uh, getting on the gas pedal. He had had a really rough semis match. Smythe was all over him, and yeah. And, uh, you know, it's hard to bounce back from that, especially to your credit. Again, you know, he didn't have any momentum to feed off of. We were feeding off a of cold. So that was, right, right. that was those conversations. It's like, hey, man, I know you're down on yourself and you just got your butt whooped. But like we're feeding off you now. So you got to be ready to roll. And when he got that tech and then Chris, Chris was able to get that early fall. You kind of watch the bench energy jump up and, and it got it got really exciting on the bench because we were like, okay, we can we can score a lot of points right here, and we knew we needed them. Golly, we knew we needed them because well, they were hit, they had through the middle. They were going to be tough. You knew ooh, they were going to be tough in the middle. Once you hit Connor Free, there ain't right. a lot of there's not a lot of wiggle room there. Right, right. Um, so, yeah. so when all is said and done, and you bring the kids back, you know, and you know they're celebrating that and everything else. Um, what was kind of your message to them? Uh, you get a day. That was the message. You get a day. Um, <laughs> One day to celebrate, <laughs> then knock it off. We got things to do. Yeah. So, and that's I, you know, haven't haven't really talked to to a lot of other guys um in the state or outside the state, but the message was, you know, you get a day, and a lot of you have individual goals, and you 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 can't afford another day. Um, because there's there's talented wrestlers all over this state. 4A um, is no exception. There's talented wrestlers within our region who are you know, upset they haven't wrestled in two weeks, and uh, we got to wrestle them in a week. Um, and that's that that message was: don't forget your individual goals. Don't forget your individual goals. Don't rest on your laurels because we reached a team goal. Because um, it. I feel like we didn't do a great job with that last year and we're trying to learn and build on that. And um, yeah. So I, I wanted to actually that, and that was my last question really for you was, mm -hmm. was it, it almost like you, it seemed you had this real high after last year and it, it, whether, I mean, it's so hard to kind of keep that going into the traditional. Do you think that it's a different thing this year because it, you know, I mean, yeah, you had a lot of momentum. You had a lot of what you know going into this weekend, but it just—I don't know. It, the 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 tenor of your team seems to have changed just a little bit, and I think they're ready for that traditional run. Just from the outside looking at, I man, I hope so, Jason. I hope you're you're playing Nostradamus there. I <laughs> I, I hope that's the case. But I man, I we've had good practices this week. The energy's been a little weird. Um, you know, our our varsity guys. Are, are taking a week off this week. Uh, so they're, they're resting up, uh, probably do a team bonding thing, team building thing. Uh, JV's wrestling tomorrow, kind of their last thing of the season. So yeah, um, focus has been a little off this week, but I, I'll agree with you that um, I think a lot of them, a lot of them learned from last year. Uh, I think that's the only way I can, I can really put it. Um, and, you know, you hope they do. I, I was just, well, I mean, I, the only reason I say that is looking yeah. at the knockout, right? Looking at the right. knockout, your your hammers who are going to lead you, mm -hmm. like they were they were tuned in, like they knew what the goal was, they knew the level of the tournament that was in front of them, that sort of thing, and it just feels like you know your Hoffman's, your Sheffields, your Murray's, your your Gabe's, those those individuals are going to be the ones who. Kind of motivate your Chris Phillips, you know, to to make a run as well, and so right. on and so forth. So, man, I, I hope so. I'll tell you how I feel in uh, three weeks. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. Thanks, um, congratulations on back to back uh, winning state titles. Um, it is quite a run, and uh, best of luck in the coming weeks. And I'll see you in Macon, man. Hey, thanks, man. We'll see you in May. We're looking forward to it. All thanks, right. Take, take care.